I'm Sasu Silva. It's time for your weekly Free Press Watch, a segment on Global Journalist where we bring you a rundown of major events affecting press freedom around the world. This week's news comes from Venezuela and Brazil. The last remaining Venezuelan TV station critical of the government, Globovision, is being sold to an insurance company. Spanish newspaper El País reported that the station's president, Guillermo Zuluaga, had been harassed by the government and forced into accepting a purchase offer by businessman Juan Domingo Cordero. Employees told the Associated Press that the editorial line of Globovision is expected to change under the new management. Zuluaga said the condition that the sale must happen after the country's presidential elections on April 14th. Two unidentified gunmen shot and killed a Brazilian journalist in the municipality of Ipatinga in the southeastern Brazilian state of Minas Gerais on March 8th. Journalist Rodrigo Neto was the host of Plantao Policial on Radio Vanguardia. He had also just started working as a local reporter for the daily Jornal Vale do Aço the week before he was shot. According to Jornal Vale do Aço, two unidentified gunmen on a motorcycle shot Neto while he was getting into his car after a local barbecue. Neto had frequently reported on police corruption throughout his journalistic career. He is the second journalist murdered in Brazil in the last month. Mafaldo Bezeira Goes, a radio host from Northeast Brazil who spoke out against crime in the city of Jaguaribe, was also shot dead February 22nd. According to the Committee to Protect Journalists, 12 journalists have been murdered in Brazil since 2011, and a recent spike in violence towards journalists has made the South American country one of the most dangerous places for them to work. You can find more about these and other events affecting press freedom around the world at globaljournalist.org. Thanks for joining us for Free Press Watch.